All right, so here he is, one of the greatest welterweights in UFC history, the Nigerian nightmare, Kamaru Usman. Some criticize maybe his wrist mitigation late in that Leon Edwards fight, but this man is an offensive fighter. He's got every skill in the book, and uh, we'll see which ones he chooses to employ here tonight. It's crazy because when he came off the Ultimate Fighter, he was known as a bit boring. But him and Trevor Whitman have such a great partnership that they have developed a style that works for Kamaru, and it works at such an elite level. He got caught. How does he bounce back? This guy, his jab is tremendous. He can knock you out with it. His wrestling and his top control is second to none. Kamaru Usman possesses all the skills in the world. How does he implement those skills tonight when he steps inside the octagon? And one thing you never have to worry about, the output, the work ethic, one of the hardest workers in the room in the UFC, and he is at the height of motivation getting back on the proving ground tonight. supporters once again here tonight. Well, for years, the UFC's welterweight division has been among the promotion's strongest, and that is certainly the case here as we get our look at the undisputed UFC welterweight champion as he gets ready to defend the title. The welterweight champion of the world. He's a star. The guy is one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world, and he carries himself in that manner. You can watch this guy from his approach to the media, to his appearances. He does everything right. He's the champ for a reason. And it all boils down to who he is and how he approaches everything from the media to the fight camps. And as commentators, we like heat, we like friction. We definitely have some of that on our welterweight championship matchup here tonight. Charles Dubronx Oliver has graced the octagon. He's ready to go. And now our tail of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. Here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Kamaru, the Nigerian Nightmare, Usman. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight Champion of the world, Charles Dobrox Oliveira. Herb Dean, ready, our ready. referee for this ready. one. All right, so Charles Oliveira ready to get back to it right now. He has evolved his game into the most dangerous lightweight in the world. Maybe the most dangerous pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the world right now here in modern day mixed martial arts. Oh, big knee there. Look at that finish there. High punch shot. Knee picked the back ankle by reaching all the way across. Look at him. He's setting up a choke now. Look at that. He's setting it up. Oh, got to protect your neck. Guillotine choke is locked in. This has got to be the end of the fight. Oh, hang on a second. He escapes. What a tremendous job. You saw his hands immediately go to the inside. Attack the lock. Create some space. Roll to your back. Give up the mount, but live to fight another day. There it is, now he's on the mount. Really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Hey. 
Just over three minutes to go round one. Oliveira's in half guard now. All right, right into side control. Upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you got to look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine, but the opponent turns to the opposite side. He can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to choke, or flatten him out and just go for the finish. Making all these shots count. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Oliveira. He's in the mouth. Oh, good movement defensively here on the ground by Usman. Oh, shades of the godfather of the ground and pound, Mark Coleman, as he lands again. Well, this is a tough fighter to buck off. Very good pressure and work here by Oliveira. Let's work. Come on, I'll stand you up. Let's work. Under a minute to go. Nice positional control here. Right, looks like he's setting up for a finish here. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. Very smart there. You never favor submission over a dominant position. Big ground and pound. Let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, round two is here. Charles Oliveira and Ready. Komaru Usman. Good. Championships in MMA, but how about the submission defense tonight? Thwarted one attempt after the next. Yeah, and the fact that he's just constantly under attack tells you he was very prepared for the type of fighter that he was in front of. He knew there would be some submissions coming his way. He was ready to defend them, and he has done that beautifully. Well, that combination is going to leave a mark. You see him getting top position, standing over his opponent, and delivering the ground strike. Nice job by Kamaru Rus. Nice. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Usman's in half guard. Really maximizing his shots here on the ground. Oh, that Darce choke is tight.
what a moment for this fighter here tonight. Called his shot, gets the win by way of submission. That after party's gonna be on fire. He got to his position. He found the submission, he squeezed and got it done. It was amazing to watch and it was amazing to be a part of the broadcast for such an amazing performance. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, one second of the second round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to a Darsh choke and still the undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Charles the Bronx. All right, so he came in the best welterweight in the world. Nothing changes tonight. Congratulations to the still UFC welterweight champ. He understands that he is the best fighter in the world at 170 pounds, and he proved that tonight.